Starting your Locker Natural hair journey is oh so rewarding, but can be extremely stressful when you start to consider what products to use. If that's you, then look no further. Locklicious is a Black-owned company that has created an all-natural product line for locked and loose natural crowns. The Locklicious team works hard to ensure that their products are free of parabens, phthalates, sulfates, PEG, synthetics, and other toxic chemicals you find in other products. Best of all, the products are lightweight and will not leave residue or cause buildup. Go to Locklicious.com to start treating your crown like royalty. Hello everyone, it's me, Demetra K of the Demetra K Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel and the African Diaspora News Insider. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I will greatly appreciate it. So four officers by the name of Leslie Gator, Parker Leathers, Richard Russell, and Christopher Brown have been put back to active duty in Augusta, Georgia after being involved in an incident that killed a black man by the name of Jermaine Jones. Now, this incident happened on October 11th where Jermaine was in a car with his uncle and it was pulled over by these officers and their canine unit found a gun and they also said a crack pipe. From that point, they said Jermaine took off running and they tased him. All right, and so Jermaine's father, Jermaine Sr. said, well, I talked to my son after he was tased and he was fine. It seems like he was coherent and all of that. And then things took a turn for the worse. The officer said that Jermaine Jr. had a medical emergency on the way to the police station and they had to take him to the hospital. Well, from that point, he was severely brain damaged. Now, his father is saying that he was actually brutalized. Uh, he was, you know, hit all over his body. They were on his stomach. He couldn't breathe and a whole bunch of stuff. And so those officers have been put back to active duty, even though there is an ongoing investigation going on. And so, you know, his mother is like, I want to see the, the, the body cam. I want to see the body cam of everything that happened to my son. Cause you can't tell me that he sustained all this damage from just being tased. Now it sounds like the police department is admitting that there was a light struggle, a brief struggle. <laughs> we know what that means. Usually that means it kicked your ass. Right. And so I, I'm, I'm, I'm with the parents. Why, why are they back on um, active duty after they brutalize their son? to the point of brain damage, which caused his death. And so hopefully the body cams come back and show exactly what happened to Jermaine Jr. And those officers are held accountable for what they did to their son. And the father is saying he's very discouraged because at this point, his son is the only one that's been charged. He was charged with a felony um, of having uh, a legal firearm and obstruction of justice. What a shame. So anyway, for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace. Colonization never ended in the white supremacist system. And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now, those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on Amazon.com.